So generally, we will be seeing OOPS concepts. What is OOPS means? It consists of class object. Okay. So yeah. generally, OOPS is nothing but object oriented programming system. Right. So if I directly explain you the terms class and object, if you are from non IT, it will be difficult for you to understand, right? Yep. So generally, what I'm trying to do, a general concept I'll explain for, for uh, like say 10 to 15 minutes. Based upon that, I'll come to Java now. Okay. So mm -hmm. what is object if you see generally? If you suppose me surrounding slow, object same in my room. Lo. Cell phone, bag. Yeah, uh, cell phone, bag. Uh, yeah. Yes, means everything which you can see, we are able to see is nothing but an object, right? Yes. So object exist physically and if you say if you have a pen, how to recognize that? And the pen than shape and properties but Yes. So what you can say? Object exists physically, it has some properties. And pen is used to write, right? Means uh, yeah. we can perform an action. So what is yes. object you can say? exist physically yeah. and has some properties and you perform an action right yes so generally a physical entity is nothing but an object which we are able to see right Yes. Suppose, consider what is not an object. What do you mean by not an object? Uh, it's like a air. Right, which can't be seen, which does not exist physically is nothing but not an object, right? Yes. So, here that which does not exist physically is nothing but class. We are representing it by class. Doesn't exist physically okay. this is nothing but class you can see right okay now class doesn't exist physically object exists physically which has some properties by using these properties we can recognize it and it can perform an action right yes. so basically if i consider fruit is it a class or an object object suppose I am going to fruit market or I'm asking you to give me a fruit what you will give uh, which fruit it is we have to ask first right means I'm just asking a fruit or suppose consider I'll ask you give me a mango okay. what you will give I'll give you a mango because of its color shape and properties you can recognize it and it exists physically which is visible right yeah. And if I ask you orange, you can give orange, right? Because yeah. of its color and properties and action, right? Yeah. Whereas if I ask you fruit, what do you give? Nothing. Because yeah. fruit doesn't exist physically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fruit doesn't exist physically. physically. Whereas object exists Physically, right? Physically. Yes. So, here, fruit is a collection of what? This fruit is a class, right? And mango yes. or orange are what? Objects, right? Fruit is a collection of objects. So, class yes. is a collection of objects. Yes. So, class is a collection of objects. That's the definition you can say, right? Yes. Yeah. So, it's clear, right? So, yes. class doesn't exist physically, whereas object exists physically. Okay? Yeah. Now, yeah. if I ask you car, what is car? Car is a class. Car is a class. Yeah. Right? Car so, is a yeah. class. And uh, what is Audi? Audi is a? Brand. What means is a class. Yeah. It's existing physically, right? Yeah. Right. So next, uh, what is the next thing you can say? Suppose flower is there. Flower is what? 
class class again it is also a class you can say right now yes. if i say animal what is animal class class so you understood right so yeah. car is a class right yes and uh, flower is a class class and animal is also a class now at the last i am asking if i say person is there person is a class class suppose if i say mahesh mahesh is a object object mahesh exists physically right yes so here i am considering person class and mahesh is an object yeah so mahesh has some properties and action right yeah so mahesh has done some properties and action so what are the properties of mahesh how to recognize him with his height yeah. weight age color. color name all these things comes under the properties right yes yeah. now what do you can say actions performed by mahesh eat sleep sleep drive read all these are actions performed by this particular mahesh right okay so generally person is a class mahesh is an object and it consists of some properties and action that's the same thing right yes so we have spoken generally now till now and uh, now i want to write a program in java how to relate these terms it's nothing but what is a class you can say person is a class right yes so i write a class known as person and in that int age float height are nothing but variables you can say right yes and void eat void sleep or read are nothing but you can say functions or methods yes so we said that class doesn't exist physically class doesn't exist doesn't exist physically means what programmatically there is no memory allocated for person class means yes. if i want to store age like say age if i want to store it as 24 whose age is 24 is it mahesh or yeah. is it rahul we didn't specify it right right yes and if i want to store age equals to 23 or something if you want to store we required memory right yes but class doesn't exist physically the term means memory is not allocated memory is not yeah allocated allocated so we have to allocate the memory right no yeah so how to allocate the memory by creating a object known as person person space rahul okay yeah or if you say person space mahesh okay okay so what is yeah. mahesh is now object yeah means programmatically it's a memory in java you can say that memory is getting allocated when you create object for the class now okay. that memory name is what mahesh yeah so if i say mahesh dot age equals 24 whose age is 24 now mahesh means age equals to 24 will be occupied in mahesh memory right yes so whenever i retrieve from mahesh object these details will be saved right yes so now if i say mahesh dot eat who is eating mahesh is eating mahesh is eating means eating what will happen eat is a method which is getting executed which is getting executed inside that particular mahesh memory right yes understood yeah hello yes sir right yeah yeah fine so are me voice break ayindi fine so next what you can say one 
person is there mahesh that's why one object if another person is there means what another object right what i'll yes. say rahul means uh -huh. rahul have one more other age right like rahul dot age yes. is again 23 or 22 anything you can say and rahul dot e it is there right so what is rahul yes again one more memory right one more object yes that one more object name is what rahul right so yeah. the same thing means in java you consist of lot of classes means entire java is filled with classes abstract class and interface so okay. what this particular class doesn't have memory means classes abstract class and interface doesn't have any memory so for the class we have to locate the memory yes for every class you will allocate the memory by creating a term known as object a term known as object, object. when you create a object what will happen automatically memory will be allocated like mahesh and rahul right yes so here what you can say that object exists physically means memory will be allocated in ram for the particular person class and person doesn't exist physically means memory is not allocated for any class in java that's the yes. thing okay yeah so what is class collection of variables and methods you can say a collection of uh, properties and actions a collection of objects because object is nothing but properties and actions again yeah. right properties are nothing but variables and action are nothing but methods right yes. so here what do you mean by oops object oriented yes. means everything revolves around object that's the thing we are able to say that's the term we are saying understood till now so yes, daily sir. you will be seeing class variable method object these four terms if you are able yes. to understand these four terms whatever i have said that class doesn't exist physically no memory is allocated and these variables and methods are written inside a class itself and object is nothing but mahesh means a memory is getting allocated for a person class then you can learn java because daily we'll be discussing about class object variables and methods itself so till now it's clear yes, yes. so shall we continue java then okay okay